Hi, I'm John Moolis and welcome to another one of my videos about the gainer scene and how I successfully managed to extricate myself from a dangerous and destructive lifestyle into a, into a much better lifestyle of health, fitness and weight training. Now it's not that easy to, it's not that hard to do. Now it might seem really hard to do before you do it because you're used to um, a slothful lifestyle, you're used to lying on the bed, you know, eating food 24 hours a day and, and just pigging out and overindulging. And when, when you're in that lifestyle, when you're trapped in that lifestyle, it might seem like a really hard thing to do to reform yourself. Now, it, it is the hardest thing to do is to make that decision, to get out of gluttony, to get out of overindulgence, to get out of laziness, to get out of self-destruction. But believe me, it is worth it. You have to do it. Don't stay in the gainer lifestyle. Don't be fat anymore. Don't be obese and don't be self-destructive. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you about uh, an eating plan that I have adopted. It's, it's a, a good, healthy, balanced diet. It's not fanatical. It's not mung beans and, and all that sort of thing. It is, it is ordinary food, cheap food that, that anybody can do. Now... You have to do this in conjunction with a health and fitness regime of swimming, weight training and general activity. And, um, and believe you me, once you're in it, once you start doing it, you wonder why you ever gave it up. You wonder why you ever went for the unhealthy, slothful lifestyle. It's not that hard to do. It's easy to do. Now... Unlike a lot of bodybuilders and, and fitness people, I don't believe in having five meals a day. I don't believe in overeating. Um, I, I, I have three meals a day. Breakfast at 7 o'clock in the morning. Lunch at 12 midday. And dinner at 6 o'clock. No snacks in between. No, no junk food. No soft drink. Um, no dairy. Stay well away from soft drink and dairy. They're both poison. And butter, all that sort of thing. Um, you don't have snacks between meals. You don't eat between meals at all. I mean, if you're feeling peckish between meals, have a glass of water. You know, and that, that'll, that'll um, fill you up. Well, it won't fill you up, but it'll stave off the hunger pangs until the next meal. Okay, um... That's it for the introduction, and now for the next section, I'll tell you about breakfast, what you should eat for breakfast. Okay, see you in the next segment. Hi, I'm back again, and I'm going to tell you what I have for breakfast each day. Now, I'm not a believer in overeating. I don't think that bodybuilders and people involved in physical sports should overeat. Um, I've found from 35 years of bodybuilding and 35 years of health and fitness that I can eat normally, the, the, the meals that a normal person has. I don't have to overeat, I don't have to carbo load or eat excessive amounts of protein. Um, I've just regulated my eating uh, uh, to, to cut out junk food and snacks between meals and all that sort of thing. Now, here is what I have for breakfast. It's, it's, a, it's what I consider an average sort of breakfast. I have this as soon as I come home from the pool in the morning. Now, first up is breakfast cereal. Now, I have three different types of breakfast cereal. I alternate them. Now, I have rolled oats. This is a generic one you get from the supermarket. 
Now this is 900 grams, almost a kilo of rolled oats. A dollar twenty this cost me. Absolutely dirt cheap. That is healthy food, no sugar, no salt. Healthy food for a dollar twenty. Now all of this nonsense people go on about, oh, you know, healthy food, it's too expensive, all this sort of thing. It's not. This one, a dollar twenty. Now there it is up there, uh, come over a bit, I put it in the, the jar there. Now, on the second day, for breakfast cereal, wheat bix, sanitarium wheat bix. Now look, I'm, I'm not being paid for this, this is not an advertisement, this is um, what I prefer to eat. Wheat bix, you have four of these in a bowl, you crush them up. And um, that's really good. A again, no salt, no sugar in that. Absolutely healthy food. There it is up there. Now, um, on the third day, you can indulge yourself a bit. You know, you can have this one, which is Uncle Toby's Plus. Um, this is the, the really big one you get from Woolworths. $5 it cost me. And that, that will last you about two weeks if you alternate it uh, between it. Now, this does contain sugar. Um, where's the side panel? I think it contains 11% um, sugar per serving. Now, that's not excessive. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm not one of these sugar Nazis who say that you should cut all sugar out of your diet because you need sugar, sugar is a natural food. I am an unabashed supporter of Aussie farmers, sugar cane farmers, and, and sugar is an essential part of life. It is an essential building block for nutrition. As long as you don't have excessive amounts of it, as long as you're not eating lollies and, and soft drinks and all that sort of thing, you can have some sugar, and in this form, the sugar comes in, in with the protein, the, the, um, the peaches and whatever, and it's got protein in it. You make sure you get the, the protein one. It's got protein on it. It's a yellow box. Um, they make about six or seven varieties of this. Get the one with protein on it. Now, on top of that, before you add the milk, you, I, I put these, um, what I've made up, stewed apples. Now, you, you get dried apples from the supermarket in packets. You boil them up and you, let, you leave, you put, of course, you put cloves and cinnamon in there before you boil them up. Leave them for about half an hour to, uh, as soon as they start boiling, turn it off, turn off the stove. And you leave it for about half an hour or, or an hour to cool down, then you mash them up in the food processor, you don't mash them up too much, and then and you put a can of fruit salad in that as well and mix it up, and that provides um, sugar as well uh, for, for taste, but if you don't want to put fruit salad in there, you can just, um, you can just put, have the drop, the stewed apples as it is. Now, uh, you, you pour skim milk on it. You, you don't buy full cream milk. Stay right away from dairy because it is fattening. It's full of fat. Uh, it's really dreadful if you're trying to be fit and, and ripped and healthy. You get instant skim milk powder. This is the generic one from Coles. You mix that up like this. Pour it on. Now for the rolled oats, the rolled oats you've got to put it in the microwave, put it in for two minutes and then you put the stewed apples and fruit salad on top of it and that's the first part of breakfast. Now the second part of breakfast is eggs. Now I have two eggs every morning and you boil them up, you make sure they're boiled eggs. You never ever have scrambled eggs with butter. 
that's a no-no, that's strictly out, or fried eggs, well, I don't think I need to explain bloody fried eggs, you don't, don't eat fried eggs at all, you just put two of these in a pan of, uh, a, so a little saucepan of water, uh, when they come to the boil, um, turn it off, and then time it for five minutes, and then after five minutes, run it under the cold water, and, and you eat those two eggs. Now, the third part of breakfast is toast. Two slices of toast. And you can have honey and jam on it. You alternate those between two days. You have jam on the first day, honey on the second day. That's on one slice of the bread. And on the other slice of toast, you have Vegemite. Now, I've forgotten to put the Vegemite out there, but, you know, if Vegemite's an Aussie institution, I think you know what Vegemite is. You, and you only have Vegemite. Forget about that Dick Smith garbage, Promite, Marmite, and all those other imitators. Uh, it's just rubbish. Just stick with good old craft Vegemite. I mean, I had the Dick Smith one, I was sick as a dog. It was, it was absolutely awful. Worst stuff I've ever tasted. Get Vegemite. And um, the Vegemite also goes good with the eggs as well. You, um, where you, you get a little bit of Vegemite on, on the teaspoon when you put it in the eggs and you, you eat, eat the boiled eggs. And the toast. Two slices of toast. And that's your breakfast. A good, healthy breakfast. Uh, it's, it's the sort of breakfast you, you enjoy day after day. I've never gotten sick of, of this breakfast because I've managed to alternate things between days. You know, if you have the same breakfast day after day, you do tend to get bored. But if you alternate it between the days, what I've told you here, that is a good, healthy breakfast that, that will stand you in good stead if you're trying to keep fit. Okay? That's it for breakfast, and I'll go on to lunch. Now it's time to look at lunch. Now, I have lunch after I come back from the gym in the morning. Um, I come back from the gym at about 10 o'clock or 10.30, and I have lunch at 12 midday. Um, if I'm feeling peckish, I might bring it forward about 10 minutes, but keep breakfast, lunch and dinner at the normal time. Breakfast at 7 o'clock, lunch at 12 midday, and dinner at 6 p.m. Now, for lunch, you have you alternate it between days. I have a toasted sandwich, uh, white bread, one toasted sandwich. Now you don't overeat, just one toasted sandwich of made with seafood salad mix. Now this goes under a few different names. Um, seafood extender, um, seafood salad mix. They used to call it um, crab mix back in the 1980s, but it doesn't contain any crab. It's seafood filler. It's very good, it has very little fat in it, no salt, no sugar, and it tastes really good as well. So get that, put that on your, your, your bread, you toast up your bread of course on both sides, put that on, and one cheese slice. Now, um, I'm very anti-dairy because I believe that dairy is basically fat, but one cheese slice is, is all the dairy you need. Now, put that in the toaster. The, the toaster. This is like a, a George Foreman grill. You buy one of these George Foreman grill. This one's called Cookwell. It came from one of the, um, the cheap shops. Put that in, toasted sandwich, cook it up, and you have that. Now, with it, coffee, Nescafe. You don't need fancy coffee, you don't need boiling up baristas or anything like that. Just Nescafe 43 beans, white coffee with um, sugar, 
put sugar in it because you need sugar for energy. Now, I'm sorry I'm going to go off camera for this because I forgot to set this up before I started shooting, so I'll just get it out of the, the pantry now. You get smoked mussels in a can, smoked oysters in a can. Alternate these between two days. You have that as well. Coffee. Now, I forgot to mention that you, ha you can have coffee. You have coffee with breakfast as well. You, um, you, I, I put two teaspoons full of coffee in there to perk me up before going to the gym. Now, um, for, for lunch I have an iced coffee. I, 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 don't, have, uh, I don't boil up water for it. I just get, uh, put the, the sugar and the coffee in the cup. Get a bit of water mix it up, dissolve it, and then pour skim milk over the top of it. You only ever use skim milk. I can't emphasize that enough. Do not use or drink full cream milk. Full stop, end of story. Now that's one day you have the toasted sandwich. Now on the next day, you have peanut butter sandwich. Now peanut butter is great for protein, for taste, whatever, you know, and, and it, it's a really good food, good healthy food. Now, I've tried all of the brands, and this one, Kraft, Peanut Butter Crunchy, is by far the best. It's the tastiest one. Uh, it, it, it doesn't go oily in hot weather, it doesn't go dry, you, you can have it year round. And it tastes really good. It's by far the best tasting one. Peanut butter sandwich. And again, on that day, you have either smoked mussels or smoked oysters. Yeah, this one is smoked oysters in oil. This one is the, the home brand smoked mussels in vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is all right in small doses. You know, it's, it's not as if you're, you're having a lot of oil or anything. So that's all right in, in small doses. So, okay, that is lunch. Okay, I'll be back next time with dinner. Now, right, welcome back. Now, for dinner. Now, people regard dinner as being the main meal of the day, the, um, the biggest meal of the day. Now, there's a lot of thought about dinner. Um, there's a school of thought in nutrition which says that you should have a really big lunch, uh, small, uh, a really big breakfast rather, a small lunch and a smaller dinner. Now, um, of course, that might be all right in some European countries, but we're here in, Austra in Australia, we have the tradition of a large breakfast, uh, lunch and uh, a small, well, you know, a small breakfast, lunch, and a large dinner. Now, people get apprehensive about dinner because they feel they have to cook up fancy things and everything else. It's not. You can eat healthy um, with with basic foods which don't require a lot of preparation. Now, there's um, when I worked as a trolley collector at one of the local shopping centres, there was a, a McDonald's there at the shopping centre and it was really dismaying to see at six o'clock every night you'd see these families coming in with young kids night after night just eating at McDonald's and uh, it was depressing because people have this idea that food preparation is complicated, that um, they need to, to put on airs and graces for dinner and everything. but. You know, there are, there are quite good, healthy dinners which don't require a lot of preparation. For example, in the, in the supermarket, you can get fish. You, you, you make sure to have fish, chicken, meat, and, um, and other, other healthy foods as well. Vegetables and steamed vegetables. You put them in the double boiler and it, it's really good. Um, 
Uh, as you probably know, I am rapidly anti-vegetarian. I think that vegetarianism is one of the worst, most unhealthiest cults that has ever gripped the earth. I think completely reject vegetarianism because you need meat, you need it for mental development, for healthy functioning of the brain, and people who are vegetarians are usually fairly wimpy and, and unhealthy. So, oh, there's the fun. It's one of those stupid telemarketers again. Just wait until that finishes. Mm, God. You try and make a movie and you get these sort of interruptions. There, there it goes. As soon as the answering machine comes on, they, they hang up. Anyway, what I was talking about, vegetarianism, it's nothing but a stupid little cult um, run by Hollywood, vacuous Hollywood celebrities who support things like PETA and animal liberation and all of that crap. Forget that. You need meat. It is an essential part of a human being's diet. It's as simple as that. Now, um, again, I'm not fanatical about food preparation, um, you get chops, lamb chops, um, beef steaks, whatever cuts, you um, put them in the skillet or the electric fry pan, um, you get canola spray, you don't get, you don't put butter in there, as I've already said a couple of times, don't use butter, don't use milk or anything, use margarine, um, margarine which is made from plant seeds it is a good healthy product for you butter is just fat it's it's pure cholesterol it, it hardens the arteries it blocks the veins it's just bad news butter and dairy so don't use that for chops yeah, yeah I, I prefer my steaks uh, medium rare and you can you can have them with um, tomato sauce or oyster sauce, uh, re re really nice with oyster sauce. Now for the occasional indulgence you can have sausages, but I don't recommend sausages because most of them are just full of fat and gristle and, and a lot of rubbish. So as the occasional treats say, once a month you can have sausages. Now fish, um, you can get fish from the supermarket, it's fairly expensive. But occasionally there are some cheap um, fillets of fish in there. You get it already filleted and boned. There are uh, uh, um, fish which you don't need to fillet, you don't need to bone. It's already in slices, in fillets, in the supermarket there, in the deli section. You get it, put it in the microwave for about three minutes. And that is a really good, healthy way of preparing fish. You put them in the microwave, you can put a couple of slices of lemon on top of it for taste. Have that. Don't put salt on it. Keep the salt off it. And um, chicken. Chicken is also a great food. Once again, stay right away from, from takeaway food, from fast food. Don't buy KFC or, or um, any of that crap from the fast food shops. I mean, KFC is strictly off limit. It's just fried garbage. I mean, the F in KFC stands for fried. Now, for many years, they called themselves Kentucky Fried Chicken, but in the early 1990s, when there was the fitness boom on, the, the, new, the health and fitness boom, they suddenly started calling themselves KFC because they realised that the word fried, as in deep fried, was a huge turn off. So they've, they've got this subterfuge of calling them, disguising themselves by calling themselves KFC. Now, you get chicken and you can roast it in the oven. Again, don't put any butter on it or excessive oil or anything. Or you can, you can get chicken pieces from the supermarket put them in the microwave or the oven or with chicken as well you can um, you, can, you can steam old old chickens and that steamed chicken is really good it's, it's a lot healthier than 
roasted chicken, but again, get um, chicken, eat chicken. Now, vegetables, you get a wide range of vegetables, carrots, um, pumpkin, sweet potato, corn, um, celery, uh, what a, you know, what, what else? It, it, uh, broccoli, put them in a double boiler, steam them, and you can have them like that. Now, that's the first part of dinner. The second part of dinner is fruit. Now, you make up your own fruit salad with watermelon, apple, pear, and banana. Now, don't shy away from bananas. A lot of people think that bananas are fattening. They're not. As long as you do a good exercise program, like I do, um, swimming, uh, weights, treadmill, all of that sort of thing, uh, the bananas won't be a problem for you. Okay? So that's my health, my nutrition tips, my, my exercise program, and my food program. I hope you've found it enlightening, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Okay, well that's just about it for another one of my health and fitness videos. I hope you've found all of this information to be enlightening and educational. Now, we've come to the highlight of the, this video. Now, um, <laughs> You know, I couldn't do a video without me taking my shirt off. I mean, I think you'll agree with me that that is the absolute highlight of my videos because my body is absolutely freaking awesome, as everybody keeps telling me. So here goes. I'm going to take my shirt off now. There you go. Do a few poses for you. Haven't been to the gym today, but I still look in top shape. That's about it for this video. Um, I'll be back with another video about health and fitness. There's still a lot of material to go through, but I'll be back. I right, do a few more, <laughs> a few more strong man poses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be back with another video and I'll take off my shirt again I promise you I won't let you down <laughs> and that's about it for this video and I hope you found it enlightening I hope you found it educational goodbye all the best until next time see ya